Create and manage suppliers in Sage Accounting. In this video, we'll guide you through how to create and manage suppliers in both the web and mobile app. Adding supplier records can save valuable time when creating transactions. These records store important details about the individuals or businesses you regularly work with, making it easy to track any money owed to them. Create suppliers. To get started, from the top menu bar, go to Contacts and select Suppliers. Within this section, you can easily create, view, and manage your supplier records. To create a new supplier, click here. Enter the supplier's business name, which will be displayed throughout Sage Accounting. The business name is the only mandatory box. Provide the additional details, such as contact name, supplier reference, and contact information. If you're missing some information, you can create the supplier with just their business name and add the remaining details later. Include the supplier's email address if you'd like to email documents to them. In the account details section, select the country by clicking the arrow. Then, enter the address. The account default is the default ledger account for this supplier. Specify the default ledger account using the dropdown. Ledger accounts are used to categorize or group your transactions to ensure accurate financial reports and help track your business performance. If the supplier is VAT registered, enter their VAT registration number. If this supplier is an import agent, select this checkbox. If VAT reverse charge applies to your business, select this checkbox. For information and guidance on import agents reverse charge VAT, please visit our help center. Then, move to payment details. If you've established credit terms with your supplier, record them here. To set a credit limit, select this checkbox and enter the amount. By default, the credit terms for all suppliers will be taken from your company settings, and by default, this is usually 30 days, meaning each invoice you create will become overdue if not paid within 30 days. To set credit terms specific to this supplier, select this checkbox and choose the required option. If you need to store your supplier's bank details, add them here. If you have Sage Accounting Plus and have enabled foreign currency transactions, you will see a Defaults tab. If this supplier is an international supplier, navigate to Defaults. Then, select the relevant currency from the drop-down list. If the currency you need does not appear, please check your foreign currency settings. If you have specified that you are a contractor in the Construction Industry Scheme settings, a CIS tab will show here. In the CIS tab, Select this checkbox if your supplier is registered as a contractor with HMRC's Construction Industry Scheme and add the relevant information. In the Notes section, add any additional information you want to store about your supplier. The notes are not visible to your supplier or printed on any documents. If you've set up supplier groups, within the Analysis Type settings, you'll see the Analysis tab. Utilize supplier groups to categorize your suppliers for reporting purposes, such as dividing them by region. Once you are happy with the information entered, click Save. The newly created supplier will now appear in the suppliers list. Manage your suppliers. Here, view a comprehensive list of all your suppliers. Search for suppliers by entering part of their address, main phone number, or any part of their name in the search box. To view the results, click Search. Filter the list by status by clicking here. Select a status from the drop-down list and click Close. To clear the filter, click the X button. Customize the supplier list to your preferences by clicking the configuration icon. Choose which columns to include or exclude in the contacts list. Define the column orders by dragging and dropping them. To return to the default column order, click Reset, or to save the changes, click Save. Organize the data in ascending or descending order by clicking each column. Select suppliers using the checkboxes for actions such as printing, emailing, downloading a CSV, 
or opening a PDF. For more actions, such as generating the activity report and address list, click here. To view and manage a supplier, click the relevant one. All transactions related to the supplier are accessible in the Activity tab. You can easily filter the list by date, type, and status for your convenience. View more details for each transaction by clicking on it. Select transactions using the checkboxes for bulk actions such as opening a PDF, printing, downloading a CSV, or emailing. If needed, edit the information by clicking the pencil icon in the relevant section. For example, you can edit the supplier's name here. You can also edit any relevant information in these tabs using the pencil icon, such as the payment terms. Once you have edited the relevant information, don't forget to click Save. Create suppliers using the mobile app. It is also easy to create supplier records on the fly using the Sage Accounting mobile app. From the mobile app, scroll down and press View next to Contacts. From the Suppliers tab, press the plus icon, and then Create Contact. Enter all the relevant information and click Save. Please note, what's displayed may differ slightly depending on what device and operating system you are using. Newly created suppliers appear on the contacts list. For further information, access our Help Center by clicking Help at the top of Sage Accounting. You've now learned how easy it is to create and manage your supplier records.